South LA robbery turns into community rally around a family. KCAL News reporter Leslie Marin shows us the new support tonight. Orders are flowing again at El Coamo Tacos in South LA. And although the Segura Romero family has sold tacos at the corner of 78th and Central for nearly 12 years, tonight Mother Lorena can't help but feel. Nerviosa. See, see. Security camera video shows the moment Friday night around 9 p.m. when a man in a black hoodie walks over to the taco stand and right up to Father Jose. He says the suspect immediately pointed a knife at him. Jose says he could feel the knife at his throat. You can see them struggling here before the suspects walks over to Lorena. Their daughter says the suspect demanded all $600 the family had made that night. It's a lot for them because it's all their sacrifices, but um, their life does matter first. On Monday night, the community came out to rally around the family and buy as much food as possible. It gives them like, you know, uh, like feel confident continuing. There were also armed security guards that street vendor activists Eden Enamorado and Gonzalez Security Force provided for free. It's for them to feel safer and for have a, to have a little extra support for them because street vendors do not have paid leave, they don't have time off. Enamorado and his organization, Union of Vendors Association, predict they have helped more than 50 vendors this year that were attacked or robbed while working on SoCal streets. It's like when a kid falls, your, your son or daughter falls, and the first thing you think is go help them right away, and that's, that's basically what we do. And we also, we already set them up with an immigration attorney. The Segura Romero family believe they were targeted by two suspects, one who had bought tacos from them prior to the robbery. They say they both took off in this car. But the family says having the community support is slowly bringing back their sense of safety. Traumatizing for them, you know, like it's, I know they're not the same anymore. And, um, and I feel very blessed that every, he, like they're, they're, very, they're feeling very loved from all the community. Well, as you can see, there are at least two other street vendors in this vicinity. Right now, we don't believe any of them were targeted. The LAPD is investigating, hoping to find these suspects. Reporting from South LA, Leslie Marin, KCAL News.